Lost Ark, yeah. Lost Ark's gonna be something... I'm not a huge fan of Diablo, right? I feel like there's not really... It's funny because the reason I don't play games like Diablo or Path of Exile, you would think that they would be games completely up my alley because I just love, like, the grind, right? Like, reaping the benefits of grinding and shit. Like, that's why I'm playing BDO so much because I, I really like how grindy it is. Um, the thing I don't like is I feel like in those games, they don't, um, like, the grind doesn't amount to anything. Like, when I play World of Warcraft, I want to I wanna get raids done and get gear from raids so that I can shit on people in PvP a little easier. You know what I'm saying? And be a little bit closer to God tier, you know? But in Diablo, like, you just you just farm to farm. You just get you just get big to be big. Right? Like just kinda The reason I like the BDO grind right now is because I know that it can amount to me pooping on people if I get good, right? PvE gear to shit in PvP? Yeah, I mean, I mean, back in the day, at level 60 for sure, PvE gear was very much viable, and I think it, nowadays it is as well. Sabbath, thanks for 36 months, man. Three years you've been subbed. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. Thank you, my brother. Did you ever try Wildstar? I never tried Wildstar. That game was like a complete flop. Like, I don't see anybody playing that game. I see like two people streaming it. Stars, thank you for seven. I appreciate it. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to look it up right this second. I saw one guy playing it one time. He looked like Phantom Lord. So I sat there and watched him for a while. Wild Star. Ah, it has some people playing it. I some peeps playing it. That game just doesn't look good to me. Thank you. Shneckle, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Moist Melon, already got you. Uh, thing with BDO uh, is you're going to have to grind for like two months to get something at least decent. That's fine. That's called the grind, my man. That's what an MMO should be. MMOs nowadays are like, you can get max leveled, you know, and get rolling. Like, how fast can you get into raids on World of Warcraft, right? Like, you can get there pretty quick nowadays. Back in the day, it took you how long to get to level 60? Vanilla WoW? Like, it took me forever to get to level 60. It was the grind. You know? Nixon, thanks for 32 months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Did you ever try Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Phantoms? Best game ever until they made it pay to win. It's dead now. Uh, I think I tried it for a very little bit amount of time, but I didn't really pay too much mind, to be honest with you. But yeah, companies do that shit, man. I got fully mythic geared in three weeks. It sucks. Like, that's not... That's not an MMO, right? Like, Maybe you're just really good at the game, though. Lineage 2 was, like, very much like that, right? Ragnarok Online, I can tell you, took... Pff, I never even hit max level in Ragnarok Online. Like, it was insane. And I played private servers. Well, I mean, I hit max level on a private server, but... It was just insane. Like, that's what an MMO is, man. It's the grind. And people forget that shit. They just want everything handed to them. Porkchop UK, Mega Ragu. Thanks for the sub and resubs. Granted, I can't grind as much on stream because I'm not really an MMO streamer. And it's not really fun watching a grind. So, I can't really do it as much as I want to. You know what I mean? There's a huge update for GTA 5. Maybe, uh, just maybe you want to check it out. Have a good day. Uh, uh, maybe. We'll see. Thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Many of two official servers used to take years to reach end level. Yeah, man. It was just like... You reap the benefits when you did. Like, it was a good feeling, right? Like... Ah! It was a good feeling. Like, I don't know, dude. Do you guys feel the same way with uh, MMOs as I do? They need to be grindy. Ah! Uh, did I make that? No! I fucked up the last ramp! Shit! Give me a... Yeah, so you guys feel the same way, like... They need to be grindy, but at the same time, like, the, the biggest... The hardest thing to do is making it grindy and fun at the same time, right? A lot of these fucking Care Bear-ass games now, they make you level really fast, and there's no world PvP, and it's just like, what the fuck am I playing for, dude? You expect me to just mindlessly level 
and not have to fight and not fight anybody? Are you serious? What the fuck? I used to love that shit on World of Warcraft. Going to Strangle Thornvale for the first time was the greatest fucking time ever. Because not only were you questing the level, but you were killing motherfuckers at the same time, dude. You were fucking starting fights. I remember the first time I went to Lake, uh, what was it Lake, Lakeview, Lakeshire, like where was left after you hit? Fuck, I don't remember what it was called. I think it was Lakeshire. To correct me if I'm wrong, what was that? What was that place called for Alliance? Like the second zone that you go to. Le I don't remember what it was called. It was Lakeshire. It was Lakeshire. I remember Lakeshire used to have... When I first got there, at level, like, fucking... Whatever level you go to there, Lakeshire, there was raids already happening. There was already fucking... There was already Fat Horde coming to kill Alliance at the bridge. And it was just like, dude, this is so fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? No, Goldshire, I'm talking about Lakeshire, but Goldshire technically is the second place you go to. Terran Mill was insane, dude. Terran Mill and what was it, like South Shore? That was fuck. There was always fights going down there. It was nuts. Dude, it was just like, and where the fuck did that go? Right? You know what happened? They made you level really, really fast, right? They gave you stupid fucking flying mounts. Like, dude, are you fucking retarded, man? Why are you making these dumbass decisions? There's no more world PvP in Blackrock. There's no nothing. You remember when PvP videos on World of Warcraft was open world? Now it's arenas. Don't take this the wrong way. I like arena. It's fun. But, dude, nobody wants to watch a fucking WoW video on arenas. Like, it's not fun to watch. It's... You want to see... You want to see that motherfucker ripping on some noobs in the world. You know what I'm saying? Asserting his dominance over the plebs. You add flying mounts to the fucking game. <laughs> oh no, something's attacking me. I'm a druid. Let me just fucking fly away bird form real quick. Let me just shadow meld fucking bird form out of there. <laughs> grind Dungeons and Dragons Online. It's hella old but super fun if you're into long grind. Nah, I'm cool. I'm having a good time with BDO right now. CS Profit. I appreciate it though, man. Thanks for the fiber. When was the last time you checked out Warframe? Long time. Long time. I haven't touched it in forever. I haven't touched it in forever. Blue, X, Blue uh, yo, Zeta, thanks so much for the $10, my man. Appreciate it. Wow, okay. See, this guy says BDO's for hardcore players. WoW's for casual scrubs. See, in my opinion, WoW was not for casual scrubs back when it was in vanilla, though. I thought World of Warcraft was pretty fucking tough. Like, not tough, but like... It, was, it took you a long time to get to 60. Even when you got to 60, it took you a long time to gear up enough to be able to do raids. You had to get fire. You had to get specific gear to go into raids, right? You couldn't just get like, oh, this gear is good for me. I can go into this now. You had to like get resistances. You know what I mean? You, before you can go do Blackwing Lair, uh, um, you had to get like the fucking, or the, uh, you had to get the, you had to get your entire fucking 40 man raid. Had to have a Nixia cloaks and shit. It was just like, dude, this is insane, man. It was amazing. You know what I mean? It was fucking amazing. Do you remember that back in the day when you had to get resist gear rather than just getting gear, right? Man. <laughs> you had to do different sets for different rates. Oh, dude, good times. Good times. And now look at it, man. Now it's just gear. Right? Now you get to max level really fast. You buy scroll, you get to... I mean, I, I buy scrolls, right? But I'm a streamer, right? I have to kind of like... Nobody wants to watch the leveling process. They want to watch end game content, so... Donnie Darko, thanks for the 100 bits, man. I appreciate it. Also, getting tuned to the lair. You have to get it tuned. That's right. You have to do the proper quest chains and shit. Mustakamis, Must thanks for the six months. Welcome back. I appreciate it. This was the best PvP game ever made. I'm sorry I'm ranting about MMOs and shit and how they've gone to crap lately. They need to be grindy. So all these people coming in here and saying Black Desert Online is just, it's just a grind, man. That's because it's living up to the MMO, right? When was the last time you checked out War? Oh, I read that. My bad. Thank you again, Telpex, by the way. Uh, thanks for cheering me up when I'm, uh, whenever I'm in a down mood. Peace, dude. Hey, man, my, my pleasure, Tom Bad. Hopefully your mood gets better, my brother. Thanks so much for the $10, sir. I appreciate you supporting. Uh, Scanderbag, thanks for the 9 months. Welcome back. Xtexius, thanks for the 25 months. Welcome back. Are you excited for Ashes' creation of the new MMO? I am... I don't think it's going to be very good, personally, but we'll see. We'll see. 
I hope they live up to the the, the big hype around it. Thank you, Big Red, for the fiber. Uh, Element, Mega Ragu, uh, Pork Chop UK. Thanks for the subs and resubs. I appreciate it. While it's still a grind fest, the artifact power grind is blah, especially for new players. I still boot it up every once in a while when I'm bored. It's all right. It's just like a different type of grind. I don't know. I can't explain it. Oh, God. Make this. Whew. That's my boy. The PvP rank grinds were the shit back in the days, and wow, watching High Warlord montages on YouTube 10 years ago, those were the days, yep. And getting there was so fucking hard, especially because people would pay Chinese farmers just to go into the fucking, uh, just constantly just queue up for battlegrounds, whether they sucked or not, didn't matter. Insane, dude. I would come home every day after work and fucking grind until I had to fucking, I, I would just PvP. So my friends were PvEers, right? My friends would all do dungeons, and I was busting my ass trying to get Warlord. After my full-time job, just fucking sitting there, just blasting fucking battlegrounds all night long, non-fucking-stop. Making my own groups to make sure that we can plow through some others. Just, it was insane. It was insane. It raised millions on Kickstarter. It looks so sick. I know, but I just, I just don't have confidence, that's all. RY Snipes, thanks for the seven months. Welcome back. The thing that I'm worried about with Ashes of Creation is they don't seem like the type of people... Like, when I was li li listening to those guys talk about their game, they didn't seem like the type of people that were really into PvPing. They seemed really like just people that were into, like, lore type of stuff and real PvE-like mentality. That's kind of how I pictured those people when they were talking on Ashes Creation. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Notorious, thanks for the two years, man. Kappa Pride sub badge, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Snipes. So, I'm worried that a game like that is going to be real PvE lorry and not have cool fucking PvP. But we'll see. Can I go on these? Wait, no. Can I bunny hop off them, I guess? The devs are arcade players. The PvP will be good. I'm confident. I hope so. We'll see. Uh, I always wondered who would uh, use the resistance armor because uh, I play it at the end of BC. But damn, vanilla was lit. Vanilla was lit, dude. Vanilla was super lit. Best time of World of Warcraft, hands down. There's a reason people like to go back and play those private servers of just vanilla. Because it was just a blast. Or hop if you wanna just bounce to my liver is the evidence As they say is in the pudding So show me the money like my name is Cuba Gooding